Hello and welcome back to Service Arcade and more Lost and Random in the last episode. We made it to the trenches. Uh, wait, no, we found the Shadow Man who has Bernard in his care, custody. He's holding him captive. And the only way we can free him is to end the triplet war. So we are here in the trenches, now about to talk to the Duke. Ah, you're here to kill me, aren't you? I'm here to help. Help me to die? Uh, stop, I want to help end this war. Ah, war! Have you ever marched out into a battle, little girl? Uh, where do you think I just came from? I don't know. Assassin school? Unlike you, mysterious interloper, I have been in battle every day in my mind. Impressive, my liege. You're being obsequious. You're being kind because you want me to let my guard down and then kill me. Yeah, this was a problem. Count, I'm literally a child. Kids can be assassins. I've heard of it in stories that may or may not have been based on truth. If I promise not to assassinate you, will you tell me how to end this war? Or, sir, please, I want... It. Yeah. End it? How can you end it when the Colossus has already moved more than once today? This war is only heating up. Tell me what's wrong, I'll see if I can help. What's wrong? Everything! My bodyguard is dead, the war goes poorly, and then well, and then poorly again. And on top of that, Count Shmoo has been kidnapped. Uh, the war goes poorly, your bodyguard is dead? Nishka, the only one I could trust besides my father. She disappeared when he was killed, but you're in no shape to replace her, child. <laughs> Nisha was your bodyguard too? She was the whole family's bodyguard. She was great. Or so I thought until she let one of us, not me, kill my father. Do you know what happened to the murder weapon? Of course. Obviously I would keep track of that. Someone took it. A little bird whispered that it's locked up in the head of the broken colossus that used to be my father's. It should be collecting ashes somewhere in the battlefield. Why? Was someone going to use it to assassinate me? No. Well, good. <laughs> uh, the war goes poorly. War bores me. It's just, oh no, this person died. Oh no, this other person died. Bah, tell me when I've died and then I'm interested in avoiding it, obviously. This guy's weird. I just realized... This is just a sh this is just a shitty th Fire Emblem Three Houses. Think about it. Think about it. You've got the you've got the yellow guy who doesn't necessarily want war. You got, you know, the red girl who's all for war, and then you got the blue guy who's like, you know, a prince who's debonair and is not afraid to go to war. This is just shitty three houses. <laughs> Who's Count Shmoo? The third of his name, yes. He was stolen from me by the vicious Baroness, my meanie of a sister. Shmoo is like a son to me, and I haven't been able to sleep since he was taken. Do this for me, and I shall give you something. Mm -hmm. How do you like that? Do what? All right. Uh, Nisha, your bodyguard is alive. Will you come with me and visit her? Even if she's alive, that leaves my lands undefended and myself open to assassination. Ha! It'll never happen. Okay, so... So that's the deal. Find my plushie, and I'll give you... Um... Something that sparks a memory for Nishka? Hmm. Well, I don't know what I've got like that. Oh, but I do have a finger taken from the scene of the crime of my father's murder. What? It's yours if you recover Shmoo for me. Deal? Uh, deal? Why, why you got a finger? The Count was an odd duck. And a paranoid duck, too, come to think of it. 
but even was now one step closer to triggering Nishka's memories. And possibly, just possibly, ending this war in freedom. Alright, well, it looks like now we gotta talk to a bunch of people to find a stuffed animal. Bold of you to be just running around here. Is it, careful child, this is the Count's si slice of three of them. Uh, the Count, I can't stand that guy. Isn't it treason talking like that? As long as he doesn't hear me, it isn't. I heard he was so scared of his shadow that he ordered it cut off. Yeah, it's simply grand that this man is in charge of all of us. The, is Daisy breakdancing there? Like, what you doing, buddy? Uh, Wells, can you tell me about the Count? This will sound crazy. I don't know why I say that. Everything sounds crazy here. But he has an imaginary friend called Shu that's gone missing. Who loses their imaginary friend? That's what I'm saying. It's not an imaginary friend. It's the name of a plushie. That he is just personified. Watch your step out there, kid. Yeah, well, everyone better watch out for Dicey's sick dance moves, alright? Like, look at this. Look at this little guy go. Anyways, let's deal with this thing. Oh, this so this is how I'm going to be able to get to other places. Roll to three again. So does that mean the count's in action, or...? No, no, that's the Duke. Which is weird, because I've rolled a three twice. At least I think I've rolled a three twice. Friends, citizens, country compatriots, let yourself eat cake, for now arrives the winner of the roll, the Duke. Okay. So I guess that means I can go through here now. This is a very interesting uh, concept for a level. I like it, even though it's not that interactive. Oh, another one of these guys. Ugh, the camera makes me nauseous. Which is weird. Most video games almost never make me nauseous. Anyway, so there's probably going. Is there going to be more fighting, or is the other guys going to be less paranoid? The Count's Domain, the Duke's Domain, the Royal Nostalgium. This lock requires a key. Hmm, that painting seems odd. Alright, well, where do I go then? Oh, I forgot I could run. Um, oh, not one of these. Perfect. Ah, uh, huh. Where am I? What? That's the one thing I don't like about this game is like it's very easy to get caught on Poor stuff. Even. You still don't know how to say what you want. Who are you? Hello, Even. How do you know my name? You're not asking the right questions. One second. Alright, let's see if this will help. Are you okay? You're still not asking the right questions. But I wonder if you can help me, even. My sisters. The children of the king aren't the only triplets in Threedom. In the middle of this war, my twin sisters appeared, and like you. I feel like a part of me is missing. Can you find them for me? Uh, what do they look like? That's not important. You'll know them when you see them. After all, you knew me. Please, I need to know more. If you find them, tell them to meet me at the safe spot. Over by the sword bridges. 
Find okay. us there once we're all gathered, and I will have something for you. You're not going to tell him. I mean, tell me anything You'll find else, us are among you? the teapots, in the trenches, and under the ground. I hope to see you again, even. Alright, that's weird and cryptic and not at all creepy. No, no. Anyways, what's the deal with these glowing shrooms? Can I smoke them? Hmm. Count's domain, the Baroness's domain, the Duke's domain. Here we go. Oh, jeez. Violent controller shakes. Whoops, nope, didn't mean to go here yet. Or this sir, far. A thousand apologies, sir, but your mid afternoon cake was burnt in the chef's oven. A cake flambe. <laughs> oh, how delightfully decadent. I'll take the whole thing. <laughs> but, sire, it's burnt to a crisp. Ooh, a new flavor I haven't experienced for years. <laughs> what an amusing diversion. Have Chef serve it to me at dinner, and if he refuses, kill him, and then yourself. <laughs> yes, sir. I... alright. The Duke certainly lived in style. Oh, it was all a show. And the horrors of war did sometimes bleed through the artifice the Duke had constructed. But if he ever noticed it, he certainly never let it show. Hmm. Alright. I'm trying to remember why on earth I thought Dicey was weird and gross in the first episode. I said a lot of things in the first episode that, like, the first episode must have just been a fever dream because I do not remember saying half the stuff I said in that episode. I'm having a ball. Simply a great time. See, I don't get it. Why do these guys who, like, there's not even a cutscene for them, they just speak their voice, but the people who we talk to and the camera literally changes and zooms in for us to talk to them better, they just get, like, the weird uh, Animal Crossing villager voice. There's nothing else I'd rather be doing. Yeah, see? Right? So, like, these... G I didn't even read what he said, but this guy, he has, like, the Animal Crossing voice, but for some reason, that guy over there is voice acted. Anyways, let's see what's going on. You! You may approach. Uh... Hi, I'm even. No, no, no! This simply will not do! That is not how you greet a duke, child. Leave, and return only when you can greet me properly. Uh, okay. So I guess I gotta learn the greeting. This guy, maybe? You don't fit in here, my dear. I'm new. Yes, I expect you are. We don't get many visitors here. Those that come tend to be unable to leave until the party ends. <laughs> Which, of course, it never does. Have you ah. tried the cake? Not really. Alright, so what's the proper green then? What about you? Can you tell me? Hello, darling. You're a long way from home, aren't you? Um, yeah, actually. Poor dear. Well, I hope you find what you're looking for. Run along now. Wait, 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 no, wait. We you need to tell me the proper greeting. Hello, darling. You're a long way from uh, home. Oh, hi. You? No, no, darling. That's not how you address a superior. In this kingdom, whenever you meet someone of a higher station, you must always begin by saying Begging your forgiveness, sir or madam. Begging your forgiveness, sir or madam. There you go, darling. All right. Now go on, run along. All right. It's nice that we come across so many nice people in this adventure because they're certainly. Well, I never. 
because there's certainly enough people in this world to where, you know, if we didn't find a few nice ones here and there, we'd never make it through anything. Look at you. You're the spitting image of an unskilled laborer. Perhaps a chimney sweep? I wish to speak to the Duke about the war. Child, child, no. You simply can't address people this way. You must always use their titles. For example, I am to be addressed as my most esteemed lady. And the Duke is your Imperial Majesty, rightful Lord of Freedom. Without the right titles, none of us can possibly be expected to respond to you. It's a simple matter of respect. Thanks, my most esteemed lady. You're very welcome, little lady. Ah. Okay. So, it's like multiple. A pleasure to make your acquaintance, child. Look at you, child. Why, you might as well be dressed in rugs. Who are you? And what brings you here? I'm seeking an audience with the Duke. Oh no, child. That is not how you introduce yourself in conversation. You must always curtsy first. Like this? Oh no, heavens no. You want just a slight bob at the end, child. It's always so unseemly when a lady goes down too far and then snaps her head up like a... a drinking bird. Here, like this. Oh, like this. Oh, wonderful, wonderful, yes. Okay. Perfectly wonderful. Now, what did you want to discuss? Uh, can you teach me more etiquette? Oh, heavens, yes, I could. However, I won't. I'm much too important to be a school maid to some roustabout. Hmm. Alright, well... Well, just don't lean too far to your left. Boom. Alright, uh, let's try this again. Let's hope I can remember all that. You! You may approach. Uh. As I curtsy. Yes. Uh, begging your forgiveness. So. Uh, your Imperial Majesty, Rifle Lord of Three of them. Ooh. I'm even have one craft wheeler of dice, and I'm also a princess. Allow me to introduce myself with the utmost humility and respect. I'm even. Well, well now. Finally, some respect around here. All right, there we go. Well met, Lady Even. What brings you to the company of the Duke, the one and only rightful ruler of freedom today? I mean, I suspect this war would have happened anyways, even if the father wasn't murdered, because, uh, you know, if you got triplets, how do you determine who's going to be king? Can you tell me about Nishka? Our old bodyguard. Oh, heavens. What is there left to say? She protected like his us voice. until she didn't. And my dear father paid the price. I haven't heard from her since. She's dead and gone, I suppose. Uh, she's alive. Will you visit her with me? Oh, good for her. I should send her a cake. Only we haven't one to spare. You understand. No, I couldn't possibly leave the castle. The horrors of war wait outside, child, and I can't have my people remembering them. Did you give me something to show her to help her remember? No, no, out of the question. I have only your word that she's even alive, and we've just become acquainted. Then again... All right, I, in my infinite wisdom, Appetites. I've decided to do you a favor. All right. I will give you something of extreme value if you will in turn do me a favor first. What? There is a portrait of me here. Certainly, you've noticed my beauty, my handsomeness, my regal demeanor. <laughs> I am there with my father, his favorite child. 
However, part of the painting is missing. When we split our lands after my father died, the Count took control over the old royal nostalgia. I'm sure the second half is there, and it proves that I was father's favorite. Return with it to me, and you shall be rewarded. All right, uh, but I have some more questions. Is this really how you live? What other way is there to live? <laughs> what, as a commoner? <laughs> We've already got plenty of them, I'm afraid. But there's only one me. I owe it to my people to be the most me I can be. Pass All me right. some sweets, will you? <laughs> uh, how's the war going? What is there to say? The dreadful thing drags on. My insolent siblings refusing to give any quarter. But they'll come to their senses at some point and surrender. But until then, sweets do make the time pass more pleasantly. Don't you agree? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree. Sorry for the lack of commentary. I'm like half asleep right now. How did your father die? Well, I didn't kill him, if that's what you're asking. I found him dead, with the murder weapon still sticking out of him. Uh, what happened to the murder weapon? Oh, you know how things grow legs and walk off sometimes. Metaphorically speaking, I think one of my lovely spies told me someone locked it up on father's robot's head. Giant, beastly thing. <laughs> I'm afraid that robot is long gone. Probably turned to scrap by now. Uh, do you have Shmoo, the Count's plush thing? Shmoo, the Count's dreadful plush thing? Heavens, I can scarcely recall what we did with it. The Baroness launched it into our territory a few moons back. Heaven knows why. The Count accused her of stealing it from him. I suppose he would say that. I suppose she did. My soldiers found it during one of our training marches. I thought it would destabilize him. Perhaps lead us to victory. But no, it just made him shriller. <laughs> can hear him sometimes, you know, even over the chamber music. <sighs> oh, I remember now. When I realized it was useless, I had Shmoo thrown in the cellar of the old castle dungeon. The castle is long gone now, replaced by a battlefield, but the basement may still be out there somewhere. He's yours if you want it. I have no use for something so depressingly pedestrian. <laughs> Uh, the cellar as well look for. Wonderful! Remove that rubbish from my kingdom, child. Uh, where do you, what will you give me to get Shmo of your kingdom? Nothing. He's rubbish, child. You want to dirty your hands with him? That's your business. I'd rather dirty these royal hands with nothing heavier than cheese frosting. <laughs> I have to go. <laughs> what the? What's this key for? Oh, this is probably for the royal thing. Cool. Um, I feel like I was going to say something else. Oh yeah, the only thing he looks like, he looks like if Ripto was a human, like Ripto from the Spyro series. If that makes sense. I don't know, just the way his voice is and the way he talks and his mannerisms. What the? Who's doing that? Anyways, looks like this is going to be a big area with a lot of quests in it. Do you think this... Oh, so do you think this distraction is working? Distraction? This performative opulence, all here to distract from the horrors of endless war. But I haven't forgotten. I don't expect I shall ever forget. 
And every day, here we are celebrating dying in like Glens, pretending nothing's wrong, as if the world wasn't better before our lord was assassinated. And if the queen really is so all-powerful, why doesn't she fix this? Why does she allow this war to continue? Oh, I speak out of turn. Forgive me, darling. You need not mention this conversation to any of your little friends, yes? Of course. What a lovely girl. What the? Where am I? Um, now we gotta talk with her again. So, excuse me, but I think I've met your cousin, the bell ringer. Oh my gosh, yes, I haven't seen him since this dreadful war began. He just wants you to know he's thinking of you. He misses you. I miss him too. One day that old family bell will ring again. And that will be the end of this foolish war. I thought I'd love eating cakes all day, but sometimes when you get what you want... You realize you didn't want it at all, and then all you want is to go home. Thank you, child. Hey, money. My, my money. Alrighty then. Duke's wild card hill, the Baroness's domain. Let's see if we can go back to the nostalgium. Shouldn't be too far from here. Is this it? I hope so. Yeah, the Royal Nostalgium. Uh, I got a feeling that there's going to be something big back there considering that, you know, he's here. So, I'm going to end it here. And, uh, I'm going to do this tomorrow because I'm actually real tired. Alright, so, thank you all so much for watching. Oh, whoops, sorry, I didn't mean to peek the mic. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, stay safe, have fun, and have a great day.